All right, so here we go. We have our Leverage ConnectWise Operational Efficiency with RPA webinar. Uh, this will be a live demo on how to automate common tasks uh, in ConnectWise, okay? Uh, so meet your speakers. Uh, your host for today, it's me, Tiago Carlucci. I'm the head of Global Campaign Marketing at Electronique, and it's a pleasure to be with you guys here again today. Our key speaker is Ivan Ramos, our sales engineer. Uh, some of you may have seen us recently in some of our webinars. A uh, few topics of agenda for today. So Quick introduction, then we'll look at what is ConnectWise and what ConnectWise does. Three use cases of uh, using uh, and integrating uh, Electronique's intelligent automation platform to ConnectWise and a Q&A session. So go ahead and place uh, your questions if you have uh, either in the chat or in the Q&A section that you have there and we'll take those questions at the end, okay? All right, quick introduction, who is Electronique? Electronique is a digital automation platform focused on the growth of your business, okay? We serve MSPs and IT service providers on a global level, but we go much beyond being just uh, an RPA or a software vendor, yeah? We cater to IT service providers and we enable you to build, sell, and support your intelligent automation service business, okay? Uh, in terms of ConnectWise, what is ConnectWise? ConnectWise offers a suite of integrated tools with a central hub to help MSPs manage their business operations, streamlining their workflows to improve their overall efficiency. So you see there uh, the ConnectWise website. It says automate, scale, and securely manage your MSP business. So ConnectWise is one of those in the market out there that are this hub of solutions for MSPs and IT service providers, okay? It enables MSPs to automate uh, many routine tasks such as ticket creation, assignment, and escalation, allowing them to focus uh, on higher value activities uh, that grow their business. So there are many different features, many different functionalities that you can have in ConnectWise uh, that will help you to manage uh, more efficiently your business operations if you're an MSP or an IIT service provider. And the beauty of this thing is that now you can leverage ConnectWise operational efficiency with Electronique's intelligent automation platform. So we do have native API integration and also interface integration from the Electronique platform to ConnectWise. So you can now uh, have a much more efficient way of operating inside the ConnectWise hub, okay? So Electronique brings that to you, always uh, catering and, and focusing on MSPs and IT service provider success, okay? So we have three use cases that we would like to demo using RPA to leverage ConnectWise. And so Eva will demonstrate for us these three use cases. Uh, I will stop sharing my screen here and Eva will share from his side and we will see these three use cases, okay? Eva, uh, you can go ahead and, and start from your side. Thank you, everybody. That's right, thank you, Tiago. Hello, everyone, thank you for joining us today. Uh, so just like uh, Tiago said, today we'll be showcasing three bots that will integrate Electronic RPA and the ConnectWise platform to perform some of the most common operations that ConnectWise users uh, need within inside the platform. As just like Tao mentioned, this can, integration can be done via API or via the interface of the ConnectWise application. And we will actually see examples of both. So let me just start showing you the first of these bots. So the first one will be sales order creation. This bot will check an email inbox and it will find emails with purchase orders attached to them. Let's quickly jump over to a part where we can see one of those purchase orders, just like this one. And it will actually leverage Electronics IDP solution in Teledocs for extracting information from this purchase order in a structured manner. And then it will use that information to open a browser window in ConnectWise, log in, and then create a sales order with that same information. So right here, we can see the purchase, or the purchase order, 
the main value that will be the main values that will be extracted are the uh, company data and of course the description and the uh, details that are needed for the sales order and now we can jump straight over to the execution of this bot so the first thing that this bot will do is read the email to extract the purchase order and get the data from it so it's doing that right now in the background then right after it's done with that it opens a window for connectwise manage and it logs in it performed the login very very quickly and did it securely via credentials then it navigates over to procurement and then the sales order section we'll see that in a second right there and within that section it will actually create a new sales order so we'll see and now it will fill in the data that was extracted from the purchase order including the company and in this case the opportunity which is the the description for the line item that was that we saw which is system support in this particular case so once all the data that is required for creating the sales holder order has been inputted then the sales order will be saved and that will be the end of that process of course if there were more than one sales order or more than one purchase order attached to emails then this process could repeat for every single one of them so the record has been updated and the sales order has now been created right now let's jump over to our second bot so this bot will be about service ticket creation this bot will read user requests from an email inbox as well and then create service tickets inside ConnectWise, but this time it will be done via the API. This is, will actually be a bot that will run fully in the background, but we are, well, of course we'll see the results on the interface. So here we can see the emails that have been sent. Of course, automating ticket creation saves a lot of time and effort uh, by reducing the need for manual input and data entry, uh, reduces the possibility for errors as well, and it, it ensures consistency and accuracy. Here we can see the um, tickets that have already been created. So here's where we will see the new ones as soon as they are created. As you can see, uh, the new the newest ones are at the top. So we can see, for example, that ticket number 520 is the latest one. And after the execution of the bot, we will see two new ones with those titles from the emails and the descriptions from the emails as well. So now the bot will be executed. The first thing, of course, that this bot will do is just like in the previous one, read the data from an email or from various emails. Of course, one email will equal one ticket. And for each one of those emails, it will loop through every email that follows the specific conditions that we set up. And it will perform an HTTP request activity to perform an API call for each ticket that needs to be created. So the creation of the ticket is all done via the API. And as you can see, the bot run entirely on the background. And now we can just go back to the ConnectWise interface to see the results. So now if we refresh right here, you can see that there's new two new tickets, 528 and 529, with the same uh, data from the emails. In this case, we use names just such, such as test ticket, creation example one, and creation example two as you can see and there's also emails sent confirming that these two tickets have been created so we also have that as a result of this automation great now moving on to the third part this is about companies and opportunities registration so what this bot will do is it will read a list of companies including contacts and opportunities within them this will be read from a spreadsheet in this particular case and it will then register each one of those comp of those companies and contacts and then the opportunities for them inside ConnectWise. Uh, first it will create a company in the contacts and then it will register the opportunities for each company so here we can see uh, right now the companies that are already existing within the interface of ConnectWise. so uh, you know we the ones that we are going to be creating are not yet in there now we're going to see the Excel spreadsheet with the input data. As you can see, we have 
the ID of the companies that will be created, the names of, of said companies, and all the data that we need to create them, such as the address, city, state, the zip code, the phone number, and so on, and also the primary sales rep at the end and the opportunity name. These are so important so that when we create this data, we don't just create the company, but also uh, assign the contacts and the opportunities to that to those companies. So this is the input data that the bot will read. So the bot will be executed right here. And of course, the first thing that this bot execution will do is open up this spreadsheet, read data for every single one. Of course, this is done in the background for every single row. And then for each one of them, in this case, it's also integrating via the API. So it's creating the companies, the opportunities via the API. And once it's done, we saw that message that notified us that the execution is done. And we can now go back into the interface to review if those companies uh, have been created. So we can, are now going to go back to see that Excel a spreadsheet again, just to confirm if the same names of the companies that we uh, requested were created. In this case, we can see, sorry, I jumped back a bit. We can see the names of the companies are demo company 11, 21, and 31. And you can see that those are created right there. We have demo Inc. 11, 21, and 31 with all the data, like the phone number and the address and everything that was from the spreadsheet. And just like we created companies, we also have the opportunities created. So we will see that in a moment. And of course, attached to that particular contact, which is admin two. So just in a second, we will search by opportunities by the name of the contact, which is admin two. And there we can see the opportunities right there. Demo up one, two, and three. Right, and those are just three quick examples of how your RPA bots can easily automate some of the most in-demand operations uh, for users of ConnectWise. And actually, uh, these aren't just quick demos that we built. We actually are uploading these use cases as recipes to our platform. So let me quickly jump over to the Electronic platform. And within the Automation Hub, we have our recipe section where there's a multitude of pre built use cases that you can not only watch demos for, but also download the pre built bot and follow a step by step guide on how to create them yourself. Right now, the first of these bots is already available within the recipe section. So you can very easily filter by ConnectWise inside the solution for category by clicking on it. And you can see that the first of these bots has already been uploaded and is ready to be uh, to, to be investigated, to be uh, viewed. The, the same demo can be viewed within the platform. You can read the step-by-step -step guide on how to create it as well, the prerequisites for implementing it yourself. You can download the pre-filled bots just like this, following these steps. As you can see here, it's the full step-by-step -step guide. And the rest of these uh, use cases that we have showcased will also be coming soon to the recipes section, as well as many more. We're constantly working on adding recipes so that you not only have uh, some examples of how the technology can be used, you can also download the pre built bot to use that technology yourself with minor modifications, or you can use that as learning material for your team so you can very easily learn how to perform those same integrations yourselves. So that would be all then. Uh, we have showcased the three uh, demos that uh, we had set up to showcase within this webinar. And we have shown you that the, the, these demos will all be available as recipes. And the first one is actually already available right there. So thank you for, for your time. And I believe we can now jump into the uh, Q&A. Absolutely. Yeah, let's take some questions. Uh, there is a question in the Q&A here. Are you going to integrate with Autotask? Uh, so right. somebody's asking about Autotask. Right. Uh, I actually don't have um, any news or any uh, you know information that I can share about um, 
so to speak, the roadmap, the product roadmap, uh, that is uh, information that if, you know, if, if there is an integration coming or, or in development, we will announce it in due time with specific uh, platforms. Of course, uh, if there's any specific cases uh, that, you know, you need to perform in order, order, auto task, we already have tools that are agnostic to any integration as well. So for example, you can use the API uh, activities, the HTTP request activities to integrate with any API, not only the ConnectWise API, but also other APIs that you have access to. And even in cases where you don't have access to the API, just like we showcased in one of these demos, you can actually integrate with those systems via the user interface as well. So basically any process that is currently being carried out by a human user using their mouse, their, their keyboard, and looking at an application on their on their monitor and their screen, uh, that process can be replicated by a bot as well uh, via the activities that we have. In some cases, in some particular cases, uh, when there's a very so strong demand for some integrations, we have built specific activities for those integrations. Uh, but in most cases, our solution is already agnostic and powerful enough to integrate with any system that you're currently using. Of course, the specific use case and the specific integration that you would need, it'd be great to be able to have the opportunity to discuss that with you so you can tell us exactly what you're looking into automating and we can uh, you know, uh, tell you about what would be the best approach for that and discuss that uh, you know, after a demo of the platform. Uh, but yeah, regarding specific integrations that might be added to the product, that's not something we, we can announce or that we have any information on in this particular webinar. All right, awesome. So we have a couple more here. What types uh, of integrations can be done between Electronique and ConnectWise? Right, so uh, that's a great question. So actually the... Uh, if, if there's a specific task that you need to perform via uh, the API, for example, or that you would prefer to perform via the API, you can use the HTTP request activity to connect to the ConnectWise API and integrate directly through that, through, through that via native API integration. But if you prefer to interact directly with the interface in the same way that a human user would do that, uh, let's say that you want to, you know, specifically which buttons to click and, you know, how to add a sales order by clicking on the new button and then filling in the data, you can automate the interface of the application as well, of the ConnectWise Manage application. So really you have both methods, of course, the API method has the benefit of being uh, faster, of running in the background, and of course, being more direct. It's a single activity that will perform the entire task. But, you know, not every single task that you might want to do might be available within the API. And in those cases, it's not that the task cannot be automated or the operation cannot be automated. It's just that there will be a different method for that, which will be most likely be through the interface. So those are the two methods. We actually saw some demos uh, that the first demo showcased the interface integration and the other two showcased the API integration. So uh, those, those are both fully available and it's a matter of you know what's the best approach for uh, the expertise of your team or for your particular the particular operation that you need to perform okay we have so we have two more uh what activities do i need to use to integrate with connectwise right uh, if you're going to integrate via the api you would use the http request activity within the api um, subsection of the programming section within that section you have the ability to integrate with databases with API uh, um, servers, uh, with REST servers, particularly uh, endpoints. And you can also run uh, JavaScript and Python code from your bots within the activities that exist in that section as just a couple more examples. And if you're going to run or integrate with the interface of the applications, of the web applications, you would use the web automation activities. So the web automation activities that we have built within the Electronic RPA platform uh, allow you to detect and interact with elements on any web application by recognizing and identifying its attributes, its HTML properties, automatically via a very easy to use picker. Uh, this is all actually showcased within the recipe that I just that I showed before. Uh, you know that uses that same method, the web automation method, and then you can perform any 
uh, with those elements that you have detected, you can perform any tasks such as clicking on a button, entering text into a text field, obtaining the properties of an object, you know, the, 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 the position of an object, detecting if an object has been loaded into the screen or not. So you can make your bots as robust as you need and imitate the, the actions that a human user use, uh, performs with that interface as well. So uh, uh, Albert uh, is, is asking again, Eva, about the integration with Autotask. He says he did not catch it. Will it be integrated with right. Autotask? Right. So as I mentioned, oh, the integrations, of the, these tools that we have built within the platform are already agnostic enough to integrate with Autotask. Uh, the specific use case, the specific integration that you, you would like to perform, we will need to review it and discuss it to provide to you the recommendations on what would be the best approach to integrate, maybe via API, maybe via uh, an interface, maybe via database, maybe, you know, there's many, as I mentioned, different ways to approach it, but regarding specific activities or specific connectors for Autotask, that would be on the product side and we don't have anything to announce or any information on specific developments for that type of integration. But as I mentioned, our tools within the RPA solution are agnostic, so they can connect to any system via any of these methods. So uh, our tasks would be covered as well. Yeah, what we could do, uh, I think, Albert, I think one uh, one suggestion here is that we connect uh, yes. with you uh, and that uh, we have a more one-to-one -one discussion on how, wh what you need exactly. Uh, I'm sure that we can uh, that we can meet your needs. We just need to understand uh, more precisely what you need to do. Uh, and I think we can meet uh, on a one-to-one -one basis and, and go through whatever you need to do. And I'm sure that our engineers can, can help you with that. Yeah. Uh, one last question here about pricing. What are the pricing models for MSP? And I, I can take that one, Eva. Uh, we uh, basically, we have three packages uh, and the packages are bronze, silver, and gold. Uh, they typically, they start at around $15,000 annual contract value. But uh, I would also ask that you guys uh, book a meeting with uh, our account executives for all of that commercial and pricing information. I think that's going to be more, uh, more interesting and more precise info than what I can give you uh, in this webinar today. So I put here in the screen uh, a QR code that you can go ahead and scan that QR code and book a meeting with us today. So both from a technical standpoint and also a commercial standpoint, uh, our account executives uh, and sales engineers are standing by uh, to talk to each and every one of you and uh, go a little bit more into detail of how Electronique can support your business. Okay, so take a few seconds, scan that QR code, uh, make sure you book a meeting with us today. Uh, and again, uh, both from a commercial and technical standpoint, we are standing by to assist you. Okay. Uh, I think that's basically it for today. Eva, this was a, a quick one. So we'll give, uh, we'll give the audience some time back in their day. I appreciate everybody that connected. Eva, thank you so much for coming out again and bringing us uh, such rich information. Uh, keep on the lookout for additional webinars. We'll, we're having uh, two other webinars next week on the Electronic 9.3 product release with new features and new integrations okay so look out for those uh, communications and we'll see you next time thank you very much everyone